we most definitely need doctors rurally. Whether it's a full-time placement out there, whether it's a fly-in, fly-out or a teleconference, there is such a need and such a difference that we can make in a rural healthcare setting. We've got 30% of the Australian population living rurally, about 7 million or so. We have 20% of the medical population living and working rurally. So this discrepancy means that we've got problems delivering services in the bush. I think our students have the opportunity to experience rural practice, experience rural life. And one of those factors is the injuries that occur with farming, for example. Uh, third most dangerous profession you can have behind uh, mining and forestry. We get one death every three days approximately in Australia. For every death we have around 70 significant injuries. We have 43 hospital admissions per death related to farming accidents. So to experience that sort of level of trauma, uh, I think is very important. We've been working closely with Western Sydney University around these rural specific scholarships to try and get rural doctors out to rural communities so that they'll have that experience, they'll live in the community and hopefully they'll want to stay. The advantage for the medical student coming out here is they become embedded in a community. They move out from these world-class facilities in Campbelltown, MacArthur, Blacktown, to Bathurst or Lismore or out in our Aboriginal communities. They actually become an integral part of that community. It makes them conscious of community and makes them more determined to give something back to that community which is largely, if you like, socially underprivileged. The students go out in the community settings, outside of the hospital settings, in order to learn the social determinants of health. A good doctor, a great doctor, be somebody who understands all these factors and then able to factor that in when they're treating their patients. In a place like Lismore Base Hospital, you're getting a much wider range of patients in the same setting, which means the teaching and the learning opportunities are so much greater. They get the opportunity to work within small teams with the greatest support and a network that is there 24 hours a day, seven days a week. In the cities they become a very small number at the back of the queue. Here they are actually up front and centre. We are mainly based here in Lismore but we really cover the whole of the Northern Rivers region. It is actually quite a, a sophisticated base hospital with you know the full range of disciplines. In Sydney you'd often sub-specialise so for example you may only do lung, breast and bowel cancer. Here we do all cancer groups. So steep learning curve but as a training oncologist at the time, great for learning because I had to learn everything. Being a rural doctor means a chance to practice cradle to grave medicine. They actually communicate far better at the end of their time and I think that learning process and that maturing process produces a, a real change in them. They leave with a degree of maturity that they couldn't have achieved with a Sydney placement. I'm hoping that program will see some solutions to the rural doctor shortage, get people to come out here, at least have that experience in a rural community, and the people are very, very friendly. I guess that's the ultimate proof of our success is seeing students coming back and taking up longer term careers as doctors in the rural environment. <laughs>